So a los piecitos. Two-year-old Valentina is taking a spin on her scooter. Good job. For the first time. She's getting the hang of it, but... The minute you take your eyes off your kid, that's when something happens. Thankfully, her dad, Jonathan Torres, didn't. See, so you guys stay close. Crisis averted. Letting them learn the lessons and bump their knees and get some bruises, uh, and also making sure that you're also not putting them in an unsafe situation. Last year, 240,000 kids nationwide came to the emergency room, and 27% of the time, it was because of riding toys. And scooters without motors make up a majority of those injuries. But on the flip side, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission says those numbers have been slowly declining over the last five years. When we were younger and we had skateboards, wrist guards, elbow guards, knee guards, a uh, helmet. <laughs> I think those were options uh, at, at the best. Dr. Anjan Shah, an orthopedic trauma surgeon for the Florida Orthopedic Institute, says those things were included with the rollerblades he just bought for his kids. Shaw says his practice sees about 30 toy injuries a week, and about half of those kids will need surgery. He just wrapped one up. He thought he was Spider-Man and jumped from a trampoline onto the wall, but didn't stick. He's going to be just fine, but Shaw says parents should be researching toys and testing them out before they buy. Also, having them ride in low traffic areas. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.